In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to draw a box or other graphic on the screen to highlight something that you want to point out to your viewer. We're going to be using PowerDirector 19 or 365, which contains a new tool called the Sketch Designer. That enables us to do something we could not do before in CyberLink PowerDirector. I have on track number one a video. It's a training video showing how to do a certain Full technique segment. in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to play a few seconds of it. Let's to use the mouse. I want to calculate the amount of apples and their cost. I'll click on cell D2. I'll press the plus key to start my formula. Then I'll click on cell B2, which Let's assume that when I click on cell B2, I want to highlight that very graphically. I want to draw a box bigger than the box I see here to make sure people understand which cell we're pointing to. The way I can do that is use this new tool called the Sketch Designer, working with an animation template. Now to find the templates, we click on the Video Overlay or PIP Objects icon on the left side, or I can press the F5 key. I'll click there, and then I can only work in the subcategory of my PIP objects. I'm going to click on the blue right arrow, and we're going to look at the sketch animation. I'm going to close that. Now I have these selected. Here I have 14 different animations that I can use. Now we can only use existing animations. We cannot create new ones, but we're going to edit one of these. I'll take my favorite, which is this box. First of all, I'm going to click right here and set a timeline marker. And then I'm going to drag my rectangle down into any video track, and that will put the PIP object there. If I simply play it from this point forward, you'll see what it does. This is my number of units. It created a box. Now, it's not the shape I want, it's not the position I want, it's not the proportions I want. But now with the Sketch Designer, I can change all of that, and that's a wonderful thing. So I'm going to highlight that, and then I can click on the Designer button above the timeline. That opens my brand new tool called my Sketch Designer. Now here we have some nice things we can do to modify this. First of all, I'm going to change the width of it. It's thicker than I want, so I'll take the slider by the word width and drag back, and we'll make it somewhat thinner. And then I can change the color of it. One of my favorites is a dark blue, and so I'll just click here with the eyedropper, and I've changed my color. I can also change the size or proportion, so if I click on a corner, or a side, I can change anything I want to about the appearance of that rectangle. So we'll move it around the area called Unit to make sure it's well highlighted for our example here. And so now there's no way someone can miss a cell that we're talking about. If I play this, we'll see it animates from the upper left it goes the upper left, down, right, and it finishes the, the circle. You notice below here we have two areas. One is blue and one is orange. The blue is the playback time. The orange is the freeze time. So I would, instead of playback, I'd call this animation. That's how long it takes to animate the circle. And you can change these numbers. For example, if I change the playback time and I cut it in half, I have to click on the stop button. I'll go 0 here, and I'll go 15 frames, which is half a second. Now you notice this area is shorter. And so if I play this, it will animate much quicker. So you can control the animation time with this number. Now we started out and the entire PIP object was five seconds long, but when you change these it will actually change the full duration of your PIP object in PowerDirector. So if I wanted it five seconds long I'd still have to add to this other one here. We'll freeze it again and I'll add 15 here. And now it's five seconds long. I could lengthen the playback or lengthen the freeze or shorten either one, but the total here is what you'll see on your timeline 
when you're done editing in the sketch animation tool. The other thing you can do that's nice is you can flip this. What happens when I do? I'm going to make sure I've stopped. I'll click on flip and we'll see what upside down does. We'll play this. Now that makes it go clockwise rather than counterclockwise. We'll stop again. Let's see what left to right does. That changes the point of origin. In this case it starts in the upper right and it goes clockwise. So that's how you can change it on those two tools. The other feature you can do is you can add an ending effect. If I click on, I have to stop again, if I click on ending effect, one is reverse. Now let's see what happens when we do a reverse. I'm going to play this. Again we have our freeze time but you see the black area to the right. Now it undoes it. So you can make it draw and undraw very quickly by simply changing the playback time and minimizing the freeze time. Let's do that for fun. Let's change that to two seconds. And now it will draw quick and it will reverse more slowly. And you can control the reverse time. The other option you have is you can cause it simply to fade out. Let's change this and make this even shorter. Now we have a very short option. I'll click on fade and here's how much time you have to fade. We'll play this. It comes in and then it simply fades out. Or I can go back to the reverse if I prefer. We'll change to reverse. It will draw and then it will undraw. So those are all the editing features you have in this particular tool. Very nice. So I'm going to turn the ending effect off. I'm going to change my time back a little bit, give it some more time. Let's add another second here, about the same in and out. Click on OK. And now when I play this segment of the video, to start my formula, then I'll click on cell B2, which was my number of units. I'll press the asterisk, which is my multiply, and so now it applies that. Now you can use all of these 14 sketch elements using the same design principles we just showed in the new sketch designer in the most recent version of PowerDirector 365 or PowerDirector 19.